And now let's look at this last calculator one more time for our calculations. Um, we have the 0.005 plus 1, so I'll do 0.005 plus 1, and I get the 1.005, raise it to the 420th, so to the 420th, enter, and then subtract off that 1, minus 1, enter, so now I have the 7, and then divide by 0 0.005, enter, and now I have the 14, right here, this 14.24, or 1424.71 and goes on and then remember you can either do the 1 over which in this case the inverse button is the x to the negative 1 so I can punch that in or I can use the store button right here and store that in my calculator so I'm going to maybe I'll do both <laughs> I don't know so I'll store that in the x first and then I'll do 1 over that number and multiply by 1 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals, and there's my $701 rounded to a 90 cents. And then one more time, um, 1 million, and then do, oops, shouldn't have done that, do divided by, and then recall x, and then push enter one more time. $701.90 once you've rounded. So we get the same answer a number of different ways on a, a number of different calculators and now you know the order of operations to do solving for a particular final value that you're after.